I'm in Severna Park, Maryland, plant friends, at one of the most famous garden centers in the country, Homestead Gardens, and I thought it would be fun to take you along for a tour. So let's go inside. Growing joy. Hello, Amy. Well, I'm so happy to be here for an entire weekend of events, and we're so lucky that we get to meet with Amy for an in-depth tour of the homestead. So do you want to introduce yourself and tell us how long you've been working here for? Sure, absolutely. So I'm Amy Muskimmon. So I have been working for Homestead for a year, actually just celebrating my one-year anniversary. Amazing. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you so much. Tell us a little bit about Homestead. I know that there's multiple locations. Mm -hmm. You do indoor, you do outdoor. You have the most incre incredible selection of uh, not just plants, but containers and homes. So what is the whole scope of Homestead Gardens? Absolutely. So we are a family-owned business that's been in business in Anne Arundel County, expanded out to Delaware. So we have three locations. Mm -hmm. um, we have the Div Davidsonville location, um, the Severna Park location, which we're at today. And then we also have our Smyrna, Delaware location. And that location opened about two years ago. And we also have a landscape division. Um, and we have our hort supply where we actually grow and um, make all of these beautiful plants that you see around our store. Um, and so beyond plants, we are definitely known for our home goods, all of our decor. We've branched out into patio furniture. We have a wonderful pantry selection, too. So if you ever need anything yummy, we've got great stuff, too. Yeah, I see a lot of gifting opportunities. Mm -hmm. So will you take me around the store and kind of show me what's what? Absolutely. Okay. So when you walk through the front of the store, we're always excited to put green first. Mm -hmm. You know, this is our yeah. kind of... Beautiful collection of green items um, that we all look at these cute here. little fairy terrariums. gardens. Oh my god, terrariums and gardens, um, really great gift opportunities, like you said. Or if a customer just wants a little pop of green in their office, their bedroom, we've actually seen a really big uptick in customers taking these to their um, college students. I love and that. putting them in their dorm rooms. Um, so a little something special just so that they have a little green in their space. Could you imagine? I mean, I cannot imagine. I was still a plant killer when I was in college. I cannot imagine how different my quality of life would have been if Absolutely. I had plants in my dorm room in college. Because we dorm rooms are so sterile. Yeah. We weren't even allowed to have like a hot pot or yeah. like anything in yeah. my college dorm Yeah, for fear that it would cause us to like burn the place down. Mm -hmm. I would kill a plant in college, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, a hundred percent. But a terrarium makes that, you know, a terrarium, you're hard it's hard to kill plants. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now we're talking. I see some pots. Yeah. We're doing this interview in September, so it's Halloween Central oh, here. Yeah, absolutely. But how do you guys source your pots? So our buyer for pots um, brings in pots from very large container garden pots down to the tiniest little two inch pots. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we go to all of the shows in Atlanta. We also go to shows up and down the East Coast and uh, really kind of curate a collection that is specific to our customers here in Severna Park or our customers down in Davidsonville, um, bring in seasonal items like our pumpkins and chimeneas, mm -hmm. just to really make sure that they feel like they're bringing a piece of this to their home, mm -hmm. you know, and making their home their, their special place. I love that. Yeah. Oh, I see puzzles. Yes. Puzzles. Are they planty puzzies? puzzles? They planty planty puzzles. puzzies? So plants and pet puzzles. We do a lot of pet here too. We're super pet friendly and we encourage anybody who comes to see us at any of the locations to bring their pets with them. Um, oh, really? So all the pets are, pets are allowed in the all store? All the pets. All the pets are welcome. Huh? And you have a coffee shop atta attached to you. So the fact that you can have a coffee, bring your pet, just come for the morning. Mm -hmm. It's a vibe, Amy. This is really very cute. All right. So where else are we? Uh, what else do we got going on? So we have just recently expanded our clothing. Um, so again, our buyer goes to the shows and pulls a really boutique assortment of clothing. Um, we have all kinds of uh, hand products, but we also go everything from loungewear, literally the softest pajamas you'll ever wear in your entire life. And many adorable, planty prints. Yes. And adorable dresses, candles beautiful jewelry selection. I just moved and I'm looking at this patio studio over here. So I could like come get my whole patio set up and then buy my plants and my containers and I could like have a patio in a day. So our patio studio, um, we have patio furniture, outdoor art that is UV protected so that you can actually put it outside on like a lanai or something like that. Outdoor, uh, umbrellas and rugs and you know people come and they spend some time with us and they sit and they do their work and get a cup of coffee and enjoy what could be kind of inspirational moments for themselves yeah yeah 
I want to like co-work here. I want to just come get my coffee and set up shop for the day. Yeah, it happens for sure. I love it. And people will sit and their dog will be down on the floor with them. And it's just, it's a great place like to come and spend time outside of the house yeah. with your pet mm -hmm. and, you know, just feel comfortable. Oh my gosh. I'm obsessed. Mm -hmm. I'm really thankful I don't live here or mm -hmm. I would live here. Right. I feel like if I lived in the area, I would be here all the time. Um, okay, cool. And now we're going more to the planty area, the place yeah. I'm very excited about. Oh, hey, Kevin. This is my buddy, Kevin. These are like my two favorite people, yeah. Kevin and Espoma. I love that. Match made in heaven. Shout out to Kevin of Epic Gardening and mm -hmm. Espoma. Oh, hummingbirds. So many bird products. So another area of the business that we expanded this year was backyard birding <gasps> because everybody <gasps> Music loves, to my ears. Uh, yeah, everybody loves to have a hummingbird in their um, garden and pollinators mm -hmm. in their gardens. We do have our tones and all of our Spoma product um, that really help our customers get the most out of their plants, which yeah. we truly believe, like, don't walk out the door without having the tone um, that is going to either establish the mm -hmm. biotone that's going to help establish your plant or the tone that's just going to be right so that you get the most out of, you know, the quality product that you're bringing home mm -hmm. can actually blossom and bloom. Yeah, I've been putting Biotone starter. So this is their starter plant food. I've been putting Biotone in my houseplants when I've been repotting it. I put a sprinkle of it in my houseplants and I'm finding it helps them. It helps their roots establish as much as it would help, you know, an outdoor plant's roots right. establish. But I love the Espoma rainbow. That's I what it. I call this. The I Espoma rainbow. It's so funny. I love that. I love the Espoma aisle for that you just kind of walk through it. It's like walking through a little rainbow. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, oh, look, who's Ooh. that? Who's this right here? It's me. <laughs> this is so exciting. So we're here because we're doing a couple of events at Homestead. You can take the plant parent personality and you have curated areas for different plant parents, right? Yeah, absolutely. So we've had this up for about a month and customers are so curious about it. Um, they come and they stop and they go, who's that? And we talk to them about how they can scan the QR code. They can find out what kind of plant parent they are. Mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, invited them to come and see you today and tomorrow at Davidsonville. So amazing. This is, you have some of the happiest plants I have ever seen. So we're actually in a greenhouse right now, right? So this is a greenhouse that's attached. Yeah. Was this greenhouse here or did you guys, I guess, erect it for homestead for homestead yes wow mm -hmm. that's so cool yeah this was a grocery store at one point in time oh my god yeah so it was just the space inside mm -hmm. and how do you guys select plants and how do you keep them so happy in here because all of these plants i don't see one brown leaf uh we take a tremendous amount of pride in mm -hmm. our plants and being the best garden center in the area um so uh, our plants are selected and i work every single week with my house plant buyer um so we walk through and we talk about what customers are asking for talk about things like our customers have been asking for more carnivorous plants mm -hmm. more planter gardens to go away to college with like i said before they wanted some rare plants mm -hmm. um and so she goes back and she goes to our vendors and she says this is what our customers are looking for they come in on a weekly basis as a matter of fact we just got plants in at five 30 last night. Wow. So we stayed a little later last night to get some new plants out. Um, and then we just care for them like they're our own. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So beautiful. I've definitely had an uptick of DMs about carnivorous plants as well. And I think they're such a no brainer. They're pest management mm -hmm. that is green foliage and much prettier than the ugly yellow, you know, sticky tracks that yeah. you put in your plants. Um, well, where are you guys located? Where can people find more about Homestead Gardens? I'm so excited to have like a little residency here this weekend, you know, for anyone local or coming through, where can people find you and come buy all these amazing plants and everything else that you have to offer? So for those of us, uh, those of you in the community that haven't shopped with us before, we are on Ritchie Highway, uh, 522 Ritchie Highway. Um, and then we also have our Davidsonville location, which is on Central Avenue. Um, and come and see us. Um, you will not be disappointed. Homestead Gardens. And you can also go to homesteadgardens.com and follow them on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Amy. I'm so excited. Yeah.